Hey guys, and welcome to a horsey makeover video. Today, today my victim is Cal. You might be thinking, Holly, he's already, look at him, he's already clipped, he's gorgeous. No, that's, it's fake news. It's only his head. The rest of him is disgusting. So basically what happened was today he's got his teeth done and they get uh, sedated for that. So while he was sedated, I took full advantage and I clipped his face and his ears because he doesn't like it so much. And it's just easier to do a good job when he's sedated. So now I still have to clip the rest of his body. But before I can do that, I have to wash him because he is dirty and greasy and disgusting. And he will blunt my clippers in about two seconds if I wash, if I clip him like this. Oh my God, he looks ridiculous with the head. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, so plan is wash him. Let him dry. I might chill and head up to the house and maybe do some study for that uh, <laughs> that college that I do. <laughs> Who knew? If I just spend all my time with horses, no. Um, so while he's drying, yeah, I'll do something productive with my life. Then I will come back down and I will clip him and I will pull his mane and brush out his tail, which hasn't been brushed out in about a few months, <laughs> and cut it. It's disgusting. And yeah, maybe trim the top of his tail as well because it's gross. So I'm gonna give you a little uh, little tour of him and then we're gonna get washing. I have my bucket. I'll show you. I'm using this shampoo. It's for dark horses. I don't know if that's gonna be backwards on the camera or not, but yeah, it's uh, the Leo Vet Caring Color for dark hair. And I hope you'll make him beautiful for the new year, the new season, new show season. That's not food, Cal, that's shampoo. Stop. Right, okay, here's the tour. So it starts off very good and it immediately disimproves. Like, that's dirty. And he has these rub marks from his rug. I'm not clipping his legs, but I'm gonna fix up these feathers. That tail, ragged, disgusting. You should be ashamed. Um, yeah, just relatively grimy. Another big rub from his rug, unfortunately. This is because I was testing to make sure my little clippers were the same uh, length of a cut as my big clippers. So that is why that is there. Um, and they are, which is good. And yeah, he's just, he's just very dirty. Come back. Love me, please. Yeah, he's just dirty. Yeah, you should be ashamed. What do you say? Okay, let's go.
So Cal is in drying. He's eating a bit of feed. He has some hay here. I'm gonna come back to him in an hour or two. And hopefully he'll be dry. Good boy, Cal. He says, don't talk to me. I'm very much engrossed in my food. Thank you very much. So I am back an hour and a half later and Cal is um, kind of dry here. He's still a little bit wet in places. So first I'm gonna tackle this mane. So I'm going to, I'm actually gonna cut it instead of pull it and I'm going to plait it down so it stays down nice and flat. So at the moment it's a little bit wild. Um, it's also a bit long. So I'm gonna first brush it down and then cut it and then plait it. And then I'm gonna do the same with his tail. I'm going to brush it all out and then I'm going to cut it because it's quite long. Good boy. just because it's kind of sticking up in places. So I'm gonna plait it down now and in about two weeks time when it's um, trained to stay down, I will re-pull it um, perfectly straight because it has this bit up here that just sticks up and it is impossible to see if that is <laughs> level with the rest. So um, that's what I'm gonna do now. his plaits are all done. Hopefully that'll just train it all to lie down straight. And it's time to tackle the ratty tail. So to brush out his tail, I'm gonna be using this Leo Vetify Star Detangler and it's kind of works the best um, because I know that's gonna have a lot of knots. Isn't that right, Cal?
the tail is done. I'm gonna get a solo comb or some sort of rake thing for the top of his tail because I don't know how to do it nicely. That isn't cut by the way, that's just he scratched his tail out and that's it growing back. <laughs> so I have, it needs another wash, it's still a bit dirty. But I've cut it nice and clean. So he's not super dry yet, but I'm gonna clip as much as I can. And then any bits that aren't dry, I can just finish off tomorrow. So these are the clippers that I'm gonna be using for, wow, look at the dirt of my hands. <laughs> So these are the clippers I'm going to be using for his body and um, these are the clippers that I use for his head. They're like smaller and really quiet and stuff because he doesn't really like his ears being done. And it's easier for getting around their eyes and stuff because these blades are quite wide. Whereas these are nice and narrow. So that's what I use for his head. And they just come in this little bag. So yeah, I'm going to get these ready. So if you are getting these clippers, I would definitely recommend getting the battery pack with them because this is a game changer. I've always had um, a clippers that needed to be plugged into like a mains and there's no plugs around my yard. So we have to get um, a really long extension lead the whole way from like the hay shed and then around into the, like the stables, which is really, really awkward. Then I'm always worried about the horse stepping on the cables and stuff. So this has been so handy. Oh, look at this hair. Beautiful. Maybe I need the, maybe it's me that needs the makeover, not the worst. Cal is looking extremely shiny. Good boy, Cal. Stay there. Um, he's still a bit wet, so I think I'm gonna finish um, clipping him tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Cal, stay there. Don't be. Don't eat the camera. Stop. 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 Don't eat the camera. But yeah, very very happy with his lovely coat. <laughs> you showing yourself off? Now he is all clipped and clean, looking much better than he did before, if I do say so myself. You stay there, Mr. Cow, we'll go on to the other side. So he has his mane plaited down, so I'll come back to that in a week or two. Good boy, stay there. So we're about to go and ride now, so I'm going to insert some clips of him being ridden so you can see how he looks. Um, yeah, now he's all nice and lovely and clean. Cow! Not feeling the posing today. Good boy. Thank you. 